um, my Colt LT6720R. It's my uh, police rifle that I use uh, on a daily basis. And uh, today I went to uh, qualify with my rifle. So it is dirty. I've shot over uh, 600 rounds today. So um, I'll show you how I clean my gun. That doesn't mean this is the way I take shortcuts too, but it's good enough. So anyway, so this is in detail. Basically that it has a pencil barrel and uh, uh, this uh, originally came with a Magpul sight uh, because it's plastic we cannot use that so I put on a Troy's, Troy uh, metal sights it's also uh, glow in the, uh, I'm sorry uh, it lights up it's a tr it has a trigicon and this uh, rail is made by Colt so there's I know it's upside down but there's the logo and I threw in this cover from Knight's Armament and this is my uh, sling setup and this is a grip pod system GPS uh, front bipod system so if you push a button here it'll pop up so I can lay down and uh, sh shoot rounds and more steady so let's see it says uh, M4 carbine 556 from Colt and it originally came with the it came with the Magpul um, grip and I store a uh, batteries for my aim point. Uh, supposedly, a, it lasts about five years. And I lost the covers, so it has a red dot system. And this is uh, also so this is a aim point H1, and this is a uh, three magnification with the Larue mounts and the rear rear sight right here so to use get rid of this is pull back and turn to the side so if this side fails you can just pop this up pop this up and then just use the iron sights if you want but uh aim point never failed so it's very good but this was 550 bucks this is about 500 dollars each mount was about 200 from LaRue mount or LaRue tactical it was pricey and also uh, my stock it came with it but it is Roger super stock it's very comfortable and I think it's uh, it's a, it has a good design this is the other view now, I usually throw in my uh, uh, tactical light right here uh, surefire x300 ultra that's the grip pot system and that's the other view it just has two mod mods or mode a fire is a semi-automatic and a safe even though this doesn't have any bullet button and I'm from California so I had to and I have a 30 round magazine so I had to register this as an assault rifle uh, according to California law, and I can only have one for uh, duty purpose only. So this is how I, I clean my gun. First, I separate the two parts. So if you push this button right here, and then push this button right here, you can pop this up right here. Pull it up and separate. Then, pull out this side. And this will uh, disconnect so I will concentrate the upper part later and I'll just concentrate on this part I usually take the sling out it's a push button system so this one comes off from this holes there's two holes I usually mount it right here so then uh, first thing I do is grab a microfiber type table or towel and then just wipe it down that's it 
Just wipe it down. That's all. I know some people like take everything apart and clean it, but I don't think it's necessary. It's good enough. And this Colt never fails. Never failed on me once. So let's see if this works. It's, it has a several configuration. So it yeah, total has one, two, three, three clicks. But you can set it on the half setting and then just lock this to the forward and then it will just lock in place. I usually, see, if you lock it, if you push this button, it will unlock, so it will go in and then lock it in place. You can put a, uh, instead of looping it here, you can also get a, a push button thing, a sling mount, and you just, you know, attach it here. But uh, I think the having it in a loop is much um, reliable, so. So, lower part, it's all clean. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's disappointment, but that's it, okay? And uh, I don't do complete takedown of everything because uh, I don't have to. Second, first, uh, let's see. see it's, it, it, it is empty gun. So then pull this out, cut this out. that is so I leave this part and I clean this part last so first charging handle I don't have the oversized charging handle maybe I should get one um, there's approved uh, parts for every little part for my department I work for a smart small department so um, maybe uh, I get to a little oversized charging handle so it's a little easier to pull or uh, clear malfunctions so you just saw it and cleaned it that quick i think that you just have to make it easier and faster to clean so you clean often oh see, it's dirty so yeah i, I use a lot of q-tips so that's sturdy okay. i don't usually use the solvent just because uh, uh, I clean often, so I don't need the uh, solvents. And then there's no carbon buildup. But overall, I wipe this down. This is the most important part of the gun, basically. This is like the brains and heart. And if this thing fails, it's not gonna fire. So, overall, I wipe it down. I usually sit down and take more time, but uh, because I'm uh, recording, I'm doing it a little bit faster and I'm standing up. It's a little bit uncomfortable, <laughs> but oh well. Um, when I get some ideas for my content, I just have to film it right then, or else uh, I get too lazy. So if I ramble on, I'm sorry guys. Um, but I just wanna show you what parts and what stuff I, I have on my gun so so to take this apart you grab it with your fingernail or tool see it, it just popped out pulling a little bit just pop it out okay leave it and uh, you push it forward I'm sorry um, after that firing pin comes up yeah it is pretty dirty look at that you always want to inspect if this is in good condition, right? The firing pin. I don't know if it's focusing, but... Oh yeah, right there, okay. So it seems like it's good. So then you can turn this around, this uh, rectangle part, and you can just pop them out. I'm sorry. It'll just come out. And this will pop out, just like that. Then I use my uh, uh, Q-tip, just wipe more down. And again, this is not a tutorial how to clean. And this is not the perfect way or right way. This is just my way, okay? And uh, 
like I said, uh, I think if it's easier to clean, you'll clean more often, right? So cleaner gun is better than dirty gun. So like cleanest gun is the best, but I don't think I can get that level. Anyway, so like, see a lot of carbon is coming up. I hope in the future scientists make a gun that has no um, carbon buildup and doesn't use uh, gunpowder. So old, old style and old technology. But so this is what I use. I have this tool from bothtash.com, Bothtash Tactical. It's called Carbon Removal Tool. It has a little bit of a diff made in USA. So you put this here, you push it down and you, you just turn it. Push it and turn it. So then you see the carbon buildup coming out again. Since uh, mine was really clean and I just shot 600 rounds, so maybe uh, there's not too much carbon buildup, but see, it's coming out, all these particles. So, inside is that. Okay. So then uh, we'll grab a, another Q-tip and then just wipe it down. See, still so much carbon buildup. And uh, recently, um, I've been uploading a lot of videos because I got lazy and stopped uploading. And uh, um, people are asking to come out and upload the videos. So I'll start again. But it is um, a lot of work, a lot of editing. And, you know, I have a full-time job. So it's very difficult to, uh, you know. Anyway, so just wipe it down. That's all. Wipe it down. Try to get the carbon build up. So that's that. Wipe this down. And uh, this is another important part. Okay. So wipe that down. And uh, you can always do it twice. One with a microfiber uh, towel, and then one one time with the. Uh, um, Q-tip. Anyway, so like I said, the first pin would build out. Use this tool to push right here. Okay, then we can make this pin come out. Ooh. Okay. So let's not do that. But uh, see, I'm looking at the camera. That's why. But <laughs> okay, there's a little tool. Don't lose that. Then. This was part of it, so this will come out, okay? So then you wipe it down, and you wipe this down. Okay, so this is another carbon buildup tool. Carbon buildup is right here. So this will go in, just like that. And then you basically this thing moves, right? So you put it in there, squeeze this hard, and while pressing this way and that way, and then grind it. And you can see carbon builder coming out from this little piece. Okay, again. Look. There's a lot of carbon built up right there. This is a little handy tool. I think I bought it for like, I don't know, 15 bucks at Botash.com. And I'm not advertising. No, I just It's a useful useful tool. That's that's it. So then uh, I don't oil anything in, in internal parts because gunk will come in. So then you push, you push this. You put the pin back in. 